Uh, I started uh, back in uh, 98 um, but before that I was uh, trying and making um, music and I had some uh, exercises and also um, long mixes and long um, versions that uh, I was I was making that was from the period of 93 till 96 when I started, I start, uh, in 98 I started with uh, Chain Reaction and that was my first uh, official release but it wasn't something that I worked within a year let's say and it came out it was a product of uh, a lot of mixes and a lot of sessions so I went to Hardwax and I, I gave them a, a tape and um, I told them that I would like you to listen to this and after that they contacted me and um, we released a single and by the time we released this single I had sent them the first album so the whole thing developed I liked this particular kind of um, electronic techno music that was coming out around this period I wanted to do my my own version and I wanted to do something but I never thought of uh, wanting to you know to start building a kind of reputation around it I just more felt that I want to contribute with a track which is my own version of how production could be from my perspective. The Echo Chord album wasn't um, an album in the sense of um, having um, a story to tell, it was more like have uh, um, photographs of, um, of um, different things common with each other but uh, they all felt that had they, they borrowed elements one from the other. Uh, it was a more clubby and a more uh, dance oriented one, uh, at least for me, because uh, sometimes too fast uh, tracks are not my, my thing, I'm, I, at least for me it was. But um, yeah, it was, it was an album which wasn't uh, strict in, in, the, in, the, in terms of an album where you have some. Um, intervals and smaller parts to explain and tell a story. It was more or less photographs of similar stuff that I was working uh, during this period and um, yeah experiments with sounds. Uh, I like, I used to like a lot house music. I think it's an influence and I like sometimes to look back in what was happening beginning of the 90s and uh, all that uh, it's a influence can come from for me from something that happened a long long time ago it doesn't have to do with what's happening now Well, I, at the beginning, uh, I wanted to have a, an, a different, maybe, output to put out some different um, uh, records out. Then I, I had some friends who were doing music. Just I saw it as a, possi uh, as, a as a possible label to release uh, music of uh, me and friends of mine that were more into the electronica kind of uh, music that at that time was more uh, widespread and um, 
yeah, after a while we had some releases and we stopped uh, the label. But uh, we're gonna start uh, 2011 again. This time it's gonna be my own releases and uh, some versions of uh, older stuff. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't a label with, with a sense of um, one release after the other, it was mainly just to have an establishment where we can put some records out without having a specific thought around it. I've heard a lot of people telling me that my tracks are really difficult to mix and I, I can agree with that but I never, uh, I never went into this type of music you know counting bars and beats in order for the next thing to happen and it was mainly an impulsive kind of um, music which uh, I never wanted to justify why I'm doing what I'm doing you know it's well, it was um, just feeling um, a specific groove a specific scape a specific sound um, and going along with it for a duration of time so from my perspective it was a live always a live kind of uh, approach and the thing with the way I, I produce music is that basically I don't uh, consider one track totally independent from the next one. I'm not talking about uh, talk about it in in the sense of a version of a version of a track, but everything borrows a certain kind of um, atmosphere. Even some more stripped down tracks or more um, atmospheric ones. It's all about, uh, for, for me, it's all about the forms, the, the parts, the, the elements in, uh, in, in, in a track for everybody. But because I'm not arranging music, I have, um, I, I'm going along a track. I'm going, uh, I'm recording and I have to listen for a long time uh, what I'm doing, for uh, long periods what I'm doing and at a certain point I'm, when I mix I get into a point where I can be in control of, of, of the sounds and I can, um, can create uh, different levels uh, of, um, of perceiving this track, so uh, this is not intentional, it's a kind of subconscious kind of um, situation where I like in music generally because I like to listen to a track and the next time I'm going to listen to it not to be exactly the same I want to be able to observe something else. This happens I think most of the time in music that doesn't have a specific um, arrangement but has a more free form, a more floating form with frequencies interacting. So this is my main um, my main aim with this music to to have um, floating um, the floating aesthetic and also the next time you're going to listen to it maybe to observe something different than the first time. If I succeed that, then I think I'm, I'm happy.